Hi guys, welcome to System76 Vlogs. Today I'll show you how to disassemble Fujitsu UHX and how to upgrade your storage. See what we have is Fujitsu UHX i5 11 generation. This is the latest laptop available in India on Amazon. First of all, you need to turn off the system completely. Then you have a small button here which says to turn off the battery power. Use any paper clip. This is just a small switch which you need to press. And you'll have to open all these screws. There are no hidden screws. You need a simple screwdriver, star screwdriver, which is Philip Hits 0 or 1 just had to remove let me forward it once all the screws have been removed you simply need to lift the back panel and do it to come out and then you need to disconnect the battery After removing the battery, you can access your storage here. You just have to remove one screw and you will be able to pull out the NVMe SSD. It is a single slot NVMe SSD. The RAMs also are soldered on it. And you have a tiny little CMOS cell. And Wi-Fi 6 card. And to access the heatsink, you have to remove these four screws once the screws are removed you can like simply pull it out and this is the thermal paste you can use any thermal paste generic but today we will be using this MX4 to wipe simply you need uh, any alcohol like simply clean using a cotton bud or you can use any cloth put little over a gram and uh, use a small spudger and spread it across don't leave any air bubbles once you have done spreading put the heat sink back and put the screws as shown like 1, 2, 3 and 4 once you are done fixing back the heatsink you need to plug in the battery again and once you plug in the battery you won't be able to start with the battery you need to plug in the charger for the first time after removing the battery uh, you can upgrade this SSD up to 1TB, 2TB you will have to use an M.2 NVMe SSD see you can even upgrade a Wi-Fi card on this it's a very nice laptop it's, it has hardly any weight on it like 700 grams once you have fixed all the screws you just need to flip it out. and before that you will have to connect the charger otherwise it won't turn on as pressing the power off button from behind it deactivates the battery as you press the power button it will turn on you can always check the temperatures before and after like applying the thermal paste the quality of thermal waste what we get from the factory is of a very low quality so because of that there are a lot of heating issues on it you cannot keep on the lap but now after the temps are reduced let us see the reading you can download real temps for this to check the temperatures The temps are reduced 
ಆಲ್ರೈಟ್ ಬಾಯ್